guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I want to talk about something that has happened to literally everybody in the world I don't care what size you are I don't care if you're a man or a woman or anything in between you have dealt with losing your confidence inside of a dressing room for one reason or another and it sucks so today I wanted to give you my 10 tips to help prevent this from happening. Now these are not foolproof and everybody, including myself, we are on a journey of self-love and that is okay. And some days these just aren't gonna work and that's okay. But I did wanna sit down and give you guys some of these tips that I follow every single time I go shopping to try and help alleviate that and just keep a positive mindset in my head when I'm doing this thing that can be very stressful for some reason. So I hope you guys like today's video. If you do, please hit that subscribe button and maybe give it a thumbs up if you like it. But other than that, let's just go ahead and get started. So my first tip is please, you guys, remember that sizing is wildly inconsistent. These are completely arbitrary numbers that have absolutely no bearing on your beauty, on your self-worth, on your personality, on literally anything. They have nothing to do with it. They are numbers that somebody sitting in a boardroom decided to designate to a specific size measurement of their pair of jeans. That's all it is. So do not let that stress you out. There are some brands where you're gonna have to size up. There are some you're gonna have to size down and that's okay but remember that you will feel and look so much better in a piece of clothing that fits you perfectly no matter what that tag says rather than trying to force yourself into a pair of jeans or dress or whatever that is a size that you wish you were rather than just trying to find clothes that fit you perfectly one tip that i have for you is try facing away from the mirror when you're getting dressed so yes, obviously you should love all of your bumps and curves and imperfections, but there is something about me personally when I'm in the dressing room and I am scrunched over and I'm wiggling all about and I'm trying to get on that pair of jeans, nothing starts my negative mindset more than seeing my body in that not cute state, really. Let's be honest, it's not a cute state. Um, so try facing away from the mirror so that you're not seeing that. And then as an added bonus, you can turn around and do your own little fashion show and do like a surprise reveal for yourself. And you really just get to focus on how that item looks and how bomb you look in it rather than thinking about the image that you just saw of your body all scrunched over and jiggling and wiggling and doing all the things that you wish it probably didn't do. My next tip is take a fun and positive entourage with you if you like shopping with people. Now, if you don't have anyone in your life that's gonna be nice to you when you're shopping, obviously don't take them. There's literally no need for that in your life. And if you don't like shopping with people, then don't take them. But if you do like shopping with people and you do have people in your life that are gonna be nice to you, take them, make a day out of it and just have that fun positivity around the entire day and let them build up your confidence even if they don't realize that they're doing it. My favorite shopping buddy is my mom because she will literally always build up my confidence. She is so supportive. She loves me and she makes that known and she tells me how cute I look in things and if I don't look great in something she might tell me that but it's in a really nice way and then she helps me find something that looks even better and you know that's all you need in life really is just somebody that's going to tell you that you look cute in that pair of jeans or that top or that dress or whatever it is and I don't know just make a day out of it and make it fun and it really helps to alleviate some of the stress when you just go with people and just make it a thing, you know? Which also means do not go shopping when you're feeling down on yourself. We all have those days where we are just especially hard on ourselves and nothing looks right and we're upset and we don't like the way our hair looks and our stomach's too big that day and whatever it is, it doesn't matter. And yes, those days are 
valid and yes you are allowed to have those feelings and let them wash over you and wallow in them if you want to but do not go shopping on those days it will literally lead to nothing but upsetting you more if you need some retail therapy on those days which i personally do try online shopping try buying yourself a new uh foundation or a new bag or something like that do not go into that store and try and put on a pair of jeans because it is just going to dig you further into that hole that seems endless i promise now the next tip was told to me by my mom many years ago and i have lived by it my entire shopping career it might seem like common sense but it is my number one rule and that is do not go shopping after eating a large meal food babies are 100 percent real and they can easily change the way an outfit looks on you the way it lays on you sometimes it can even change your size and that can be really discouraging when you know you're a size 10 and your favorite pair of jeans but you go that specific day after eating a big meal and now you have to size up to a 12 and that makes you feel bad and you're like oh did i gain that much weight no it's because you have a food baby and that's okay there's nothing wrong with it but maybe just don't do it i always eat afterwards and honestly that just means that all that shopping cardio can lead to something delicious without me worrying about it but you know just just avoid it. Wear the proper undergarments. You guys, I cannot say this enough. Do not wear your lumpy, bumpy, oversized underwear with your ill-fitting sports bra to go shopping if those are not your everyday undergarments. If you are looking for a bomb, like, sexy body dress and you know you're gonna wear Spanx with that body dress. Go ahead and wear them shopping so you can really get the full look. If you know that you're looking for a, you know, nice blouse for work and you have a specific, like, really supportive, nice, smoothing bra that you like to wear with those types of tops, wear that so that you really get the full look of how something's going to look on you rather than something that might look like it doesn't fit you that well because you're not wearing great undergarments. That also means looking your best. So if you know that on an everyday basis, you like to wear a little bit of makeup, maybe you do something to your hair, whatever it is, do that before you go shopping. Now, this does not apply if you are just going to bum around at the mall because that happens to me plenty of times where I'm not getting ready to just go walk around at the mall and see what I can get into. But when I know that I'm specifically going to look for something, it really helps me internally to see myself put together up here when I put on a new piece of clothing because then I can really see how it's going to mesh with my everyday life, you know? My next tip is to take pictures or videos inside the dressing room. I cannot tell you how many times I have gone in the dressing room, put on a piece of clothing, hated it, taken a picture or video for some sort of reason, whether it's just me personally, whether it's to send it to my husband, or just for a vlog or whatever. And then I got home, I reviewed the images, and I realized that I looked really, really cute in that item. But in that moment, all I could see were the negatives. And then I regretted not getting the item. So maybe snap a couple of pictures, do your own little photo shoot, maybe send it to a you know significant other or your best friend or something if you want a second opinion. But just give yourself another view of the item to maybe get out of your like negative eye line because sometimes there are certainly days of mine where I put something on and literally all I see are all the lumps and bumps and my back fat and how gross my arms look that day and just everything and I can't see that I actually look really cute in the item because I can't see past the negativity. So give yourself a way, a way to. My next tip is to get out of that damn little room. When you are at home and you're getting dressed, do you stand one to two feet away from the mirror? No, nobody does. I don't. So get out of that tiny little boxed in room and give yourself a bigger view, give yourself more space and a different view of everything. 
most dressing rooms are going to have an extra mirror out in the hallway or on the outside of the door or something. So just get out of the room and be able to breathe a little bit and have more room and just give yourself a different view of the item on. And finally, you guys, please, please remember that shopping is supposed to be fun. Do not stress yourself out or let that pair of jeans not fitting ruin your day. It is not worth it. I promise it is just not worth it. So I hope you guys liked today's video. I hope you will implement some of these tips into your lives if you struggle with this as well. And if you have any of your own tips, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to know how you guys deal with losing your confidence inside of dressing rooms. But other than that, I hope you guys will stick around for the rest of my videos and I will catch you in my next one.